कोल माइनिंग और उसके सेल के लिए जो भी एसोसिएटेड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर लगता है सब एक्टिविटीज में भी शत प्रतिशत एफ ऑटोमेटिक रूप से अलाउ किया जाए फॉर गिविंग इंज ऑफ ऑपरेशन वी हैव अलाउड दैट कंपनीज कैन स्टार्ट ऑनलाइन सेल ऑफ एयर प्रोडक्ट The government today decided to relax norms for foreign direct investment in several sectors including single brand retail, digital media and manufacturing as part of an all out effort to boost the flagging economy. The steps include investor friendly policies including easing rules like 30% sourcing from India for single brand retailers and legislation of contract manufacturing to allow 100% investment. This was said by union minister Piyush Goyal The cabinet has taken very very important decisions and uh, really now India will become a manufacturing hub uh, can you explain to us what was the rationale behind uh, this uh, decision of increasing FDI well, very clearly in the world we are seeing people looking at alternate uh, manufacturing hubs they want to integrate these hubs in their global value chains and because of certain restrictive clauses we were unable to attract large scale manufacturing some of them are very logical and very good for india for example the manufacturing base that is set up in india if it also allows domestic sourcing to be considered when they export the product it will encourage companies to come with larger scale manufacturing create much more jobs in india help us earn precious foreign exchange as well as give larger opportunities to our domestic industry to become a supply base and meet some of the needs of the global value chain of large companies so effectively we have opened up the sector aligned it with the best manufacturing practices and best regulatory regime worldwide opened up our um, industry to let's say in the pharma sector and the consumer goods sector and the electronic sector opened up these sectors to become preeminent position in the manufacturing some would be saying will will this help now for example a company like apple to set up shop because that's been something that you all have you all been focusing on for the last 5 years consistently will this with this international best practice hopefully uh, allow them to uh, venture into well, that would be a ch- call that the companies will have to take but my own sense is that many sectors will benefit and electronic sector we already have seen they have manufacturing hubs in different parts of the world and products come from different regions add value in uh, different countries go to a third country add value go to another country but in those global value chains india was missing now india will become a part of these global value chains and i'm sure uh, large companies which are looking for alternate manufacturing hubs and there's a lot of discussion worldwide about people wanting to locate in uh, better regimes more rule based regimes more democratic regimes and i think india offers a perfect opportunity for large scale jobs to be created and large investments to come to it so uh, a booster shot in the form of certain rollbacks that were announced by finance minister nirmala sitaraman then the big cash bonanza uh, that the rbi decided to give to the government 1.76 lakh crore rupees and now fdi this big announcement these three steps will they be enough or do we need more and more importantly will this be enough to arrest the slowdown and revive the wheels of economy let's quickly discuss this uh, let me introduce my guest this evening nr bhanumurthy is a professor of the national institute of uh, public finance and policy thank you so much for joining us on nd tv vivek reddy is a leader of the bjp still with us joins us with this debate as well jagdish khatter the former md of maruti suzuki you also have gurcharan das author and commentator and pooja mehra senior economic journalist is also with us thank you all of you all for joining us on what i feel is a very very significant issue of discussion let me begin with you uh, mr jagdish khatter uh, what do you what do you make of this announcement the latest announcement fdi you see i mean it it is welcome these announcements are welcome because it shows a way forward but if we are going we are, if we are dis- and so th- i welcome those announcements but i don't think is going to solve today's problems you know our problem today is the the capacity not being utilized the demand not being there these y- units will come they will bring in new capacities but it will take time our problem is really 
to solve today's problems. And that is where I think we need to focus more. If we keep talking about future and all these things, we might lose sign of, uh, you know, lose a local problem at the moment. So we need a mobilization of all resources that we have, all agencies to come together to generate demand today. You know, we, we are reading about loss, loss of jobs and more jobs being taken. The new announcement is not going to take care of this. They'll take care of the future needs, yes. Mm -hmm. So I think we need to concentrate on the existing problem, the existing units which are, you know, slowly winding up or working at half a capacity, and that is where I look forward to. Of course, some decisions that have been taken, increasing capacities and, uh, by the government, that will help. But more needs to be done as far as that is concerned. Okay. Uh, Gurcharan Das, let me ask you this question. I think from what I understood, Mr. Khattar saying that the problem is more uh, in tackling this in the short term. Uh, while we do need to concentrate on the long term, uh, what are the short term solutions that the government has worked on? Well, I, I'll tell you, uh, first of all, these announcements are very good. And we do need to always keep track, keep our focus on the long term, on the long term reforms, because that's really the solution to prosperity. Now, the present slowdown is very real. And so Mr. Khattar is absolutely right. We need to raise demand. And here, I think the announcement of the Reserve Bank, the money, the bonanza that's come in, can be very useful because that kind of money can precisely, if it's used well, in job-creating areas such as infrastructure, housing, there are many projects today, infrastructure projects, that are incomplete. Now, some of them, many of them, are the, they are not getting the money. And so this kind of money that the Reserve Bank has given to the government can be used for creating demand, creating jobs, and so I, I would say that, that this is a very direct way that uh, you can uh, start kick-starting the economy. You don't need to give a new, fisc new stimulus. Just, <coughs> just, complete the, just complete the projects that are waiting, that are, don't have the money, mm. and they're half complete, and there's a lot of them. Mm. Then they've been waiting for five, six years since the UPA time, catch those, and 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 uh, the liquidity has been an issue because of the problems of the NBFCs, the cleanup, the NPA cleanup of the banks. So they, these they have suffered. So I, that's what I would do to answer the question. But let's not forget the long term. You know this announcement of uh, Piyush Goyal talking about. Um, global supply chains, I think that that's, that's a very good point because the <coughs> fact of the matter is that India today is turning protectionist. And we have to reverse this protectionist sentiment and we have to realize that no poor country became rich through, without exports. Mm. So, and if you want exports, you've got to change yourself from being an import substituting country. And hence, I would say that exports, if we focus on exports, you know, our, our share is only 1.7% of a 7 trillion hmm. trade in the world hmm. in, in, in exports. And if we could just take that 1.7 to 2.2, Achay then would be there. Because okay. you'd create those high productivity okay. jobs okay. that people Okay, so you, uh, uh, Guru, Guru Chalandas, so you feel that in the short term, it's not the FDI, but the 1.76 lakh crore rupees cash inflow or that cash injection into the economy, which is actually going to uh, set the wheels in motion uh, in infrastructure. Now, Pooja Mehra, interesting that Mr. Guru Chalandas mentions infrastructure and using 1.76 lakh crores uh, in, you know, in that capacity. Now, the government's announcement in the budget was that for infrastructure, they will be spending over a period of five years, 100 lakh crore rupees, which basically means, Puja, 20 lakh crore rupees per year. I mean, what, what little can this 1.76 lakh crore do 
when the when the target or the vision is so ambitious Uh, Sanket, I think the 100 lakh crore uh, figure is not a figure for government expenditure. It can't possibly be because mm. uh, the uh, government's budget is not that large. Government's resources are not that large. Uh, this involves a multiply effect. When the government spends a certain amount of money, then private sector companies come forward and spend money. Mm. And, uh, you know, a process sort of gets kicked in. So uh, I don't think the 100 uh, lakh crores is going to come from the, from the budget. So, okay. uh, you know, we, uh, we should be clear on that. Mm -hmm. Secondly, uh, yes, you're right. 1.7 lakh crore uh, uh, may not seem like a very big amount given the kind of ambitious targets that Prime Minister Narendra Modi said for 5 trillion economy and for infrastructure creation of 100 lakh crore. But nevertheless, this amount, if spent wisely, can do what uh, uh, Mr. Gurcharan Das was saying before. Uh, what is immediately what is needed is for the economy to for the for, for the business sentiment to improve mm. because if that is not done we go into a spiral and uh, uh, people who are in a position to make investments and people who are in a position to expand business will also not do it because they feel that the economy is heading downwards mm -hmm. uh, or, or into into a sort of a, a zone where business may not do well so we we want to reverse those kind of sentiments and they're uh, spending uh, uh, this money that, that now has become available with the government uh, uh, helps. And I think the easiest and the most important way to do it is uh, not to put it in long gestation projects but to put it in the rural economy where it will immediately get into the hands of um, uh, people who will go out and spend it. Uh, so, uh, you know, whether it is done through uh, programs that are already on the ground, uh, you know, a, a, some sort of tweaking of the NREGA or, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, uh, money that is being given to farmers under PM Kisan, which, uh, you know, there, there are a lot of shortcomings of these programs, but mm -hmm. the goal right now is to immediately put money in the hands of people in the rural economy and there I think this money comes in handy. Okay. But that's only a sort of... A, immediate step this is this is not advisable for a for a long period of time okay 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 i i, I get the point so mr bhanu murthy see uh, it's interesting the suggestions that we are getting fdi is going to help you in the long run right yes the cash injection is going to help you in the short term if done well if yes. utilized well if put in the correct sectors as as mr gurcharan das was saying put it in uh, you know those 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 infra right. projects that are that are suffering for a very long time, people are suffering, the projects are incomplete. Start the process, right? Now, I want to know from you and I want to quickly go back to the announcements that have been made today about FDI. For instance, single brand retail, do you think that this will be able to kickstart the process uh, of, of getting more people and the existing units that are already here who have raised reservation about the 30% uh, local sourcing? Do you think it's actually going to help what the government has tried to do? Technically, on paper, they've not taken away this clause. They're just saying that even the exports will be counted as you having sourced locally. Yeah, I think uh, let me uh, go a little front and um, argue that, you know, uh, the kind of slowdown that we have in India is actually uh, both uh, structural as well as cyclical. Mm. Now, for that part, I think you need to have both short-term as well as the long-term measures. Mm. And that's exactly the government has been taking for the past uh, one week or so. We have seen the short-term measures and we also seen some kind of a long-term measures like FDI. When it comes to, uh, again, I want to a little bit clarify on this RBI, uh, um, you know, uh, transfer. Sure. As far as I understand, actually the net increase in the transfer mm. is almost just uh, about 58,000 crore. Now, if you look at out of 1.76, uh, 28 is actually been interim dividend given in the last financial year. Mm. Now, in the budget, they have already, uh, uh, I mean, accounted for 90,000 crore. Mm. So, the actual additional transfer that government is going to get is only 50 to 8,000 crores. Now, out of the 58,000 crore, fi on Friday, the finance minister already made some announcements. Mm. So, where some of the money will go to those kind of things. So, frankly speaking, I'm not really sure that it's a very big bonanza as many many of us are talking about. Mm -hmm. Now so there'll, there'll be only so much that you'll be able yes, to do with this money. Yes, okay. and uh, I'm not even sure that whether that will actually cover the kind of um, the tax uh, projection that they've made. Mm. We know very clearly that there's going to be very 
uh, big shortfall in terms of uh, the revenue mobilization for the whole year mm -hmm. because they assumed very wrong uh, nominal GDP growth for the current year. Mm -hmm. They were assuming 12 percent or 11 percent, whatever it is. Okay. So coming to the point about FDI, yes, they have made um, many announcements today. Yeah. No, particularly fact, on single brand. Yes, I think uh, some of the tweaks that they made, I think uh, it's actually based on some of the studies done. Uh, why, although there is a relaxation on the FDI and single brand retail, why we are not able to attract. Uh, so there may be some uh, technical issues that has been addressed today. Hmm. But uh, again, if you look at uh, what uh, Mr. Guru Charanda said, exports is not just a function of FDI alone. Hmm. In fact, if you look at empirically, see most of the public policy uh, things that we have right now, it's purely based on empirics. Hmm. Now, if you, if you talk about exports, how to increase the exports, if you look at the exports data from 1990 onwards, the exports is actually driven by the decline in the import duties. Mm. Now what we are doing is we are in the budget we are actually increasing the import duties. Now you talk about uh, giving incentive to the exports. Take for instance you talk about manufacturing hubs that today they have declared. Mm -hmm. Now if you have import duties, how do you expect uh, this whole sector to uh, come up. Mm -hmm. So there are some uh, inconsistencies in my view. Okay. Now in the uh, absence of you know any good measures, now mm -hmm. if you go for this kind of things, mm -hmm. my guess is that it is not going to help much in reviving the overall growth story okay. in this country. Okay, so more will be required. This more is empirical analysis no, but I required. Don't think, I don't think that's anyone's case that this is, this is enough. I'm sure this is... Well, be I know I'm just giving the import duties is one thing they should immediately address. Okay. Okay, fine. Uh, political question for the politician on the panel, uh, Vivek Reddy. Anand Sharma, I spoke to him yesterday, uh, the Rajya Sabha MP of the Congress, and I asked him this question on what the government proposes to do, that is, uh, make certain changes uh, to the FDI rules. And he says, and I quote, Congress was dragged to a vote in both houses on the issue of FDI. Happy that the government has realized FDI decision was right. Decisions taken by the Congress were wise. BJP abused us, but now they are accepting all our old decisions. Whether it is Aadhaar, whether it is GST, and now even the FDI. What's the original idea, my friend? Well, I think um, Congress was trying to do various things without actually trying to promote Make in India. Make in India became the real effort of BJP. It became the flagship policy of BJP. It became a pioneering model for the government to actually multiply manufacturing and create huge opportunities. I think this is where there is a paradigmic shift between what Mr. Anand Sharma is thinking and what BJP actually, actually brought into reality. This is mm -hmm. one sanket. Mm -hmm. The second thing is, second area is, Mr. Anand Sharma must also know that the territorial, the world landscape of manufacturing is changing because of the trade wars. And more people, more enterprises, more entities are seeking safer havens where America would not cut into them with trade wars or China would not counter cut them uh, against America. So this is where we must really be exploiting and expanding the catchment areas for uh, the world markets, mm. world manufacturing hubs. Mm. And that is why we have now eased out the FDI and we must really thank the government or we must appreciate the government for being very sensitive to this okay. and alert on this and trying not to lose the opportunity. Okay. Now, so far as multiplying wealth is concerned, mm. I think all these multi-pronged efforts on case the FDI, the RBI's dividends, the uh, liquidity crisis, the funding, the liquidity crisis for on a temporary mm. basis, interim measure. I think all these put together will re are real boosters for the economy, okay. and they will work both long term and short term. Well, and we, more we'll importantly, know will create wealth and in job, a matter of a year or two, we'll know whether they have worked or not. But Jagdish Khatter, Gurcharan Das, as well as uh, Pooja Mehra. Let me come back to you and ask you questions on the FDI because that's the decision that has been taken today. I want to ask, I start with you, Mr. Khattar. What do you make of, you know, single brand retail? And the, the, I think the contentious issue over here was 30% sourcing, local sourcing. Mm. That was the contentious issue. The government's in its own sweet way seems to have worked that out. Do you think it will work? <coughs> Uh, 
Uh, are we discussing today's problems or future opportunities? We are discussing all problems. You know, what you are talking about 30% and all future. So, but I, I would suggest that let us concentrate on today's problem. Sure. And all that is being said does not solve today's problems. Hmm. Today's, today's problems are serious and we need to address each one of them in the rural area, in the, in the urban area, you have transportation problems, all other problems have to be done. Mm. I mean, by announcement, we are not going to achieve our results. So I think we need to really go down. You see, we are, we are, we are trying to organize our economy and making it more structured. But there is an un unofficial economy of a 50, 60% which is out of, out of business. Absolutely. We have to revive them, we have to get them back. We have these small people, medium people, all that has to be done. You know, we are talking about big and F FDI and all those things. I'm not saying they're not required, but they're not going to solve our today's No, but problems. Mr. Cutter, so what will 1.76 lakh crore do these to address concerns of that, that economy? Do you think we need more efforts is, than I just mean, this it, cash flow? It, 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 it will only keep on... Of course, the money has to come from people. They have to invest. They have to get confidence. I think most okay. important is confidence yeah. in the people who can invest and who can work. If on okay. side you are losing jobs, how do you expect them to do so? So let us look at each, you know, each area. First of all, there has to be a confidence in the country that we are back in business. Hmm. We are going to grow. And then let us create that so that we get that animal spirit back. Okay. You know, all these announcements are not going to, I mean, they're going to help in the okay. long run. Sure. But we need immediate, immediate solutions. Sure. Quick, quick closing comments from Mr. Gurcharan Das as well as Pooja Mehra. Uh, Mr. Das, you go first. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just want to re-emphasize the points that have been made uh, here that really the question of single brand retail is good. There's 30 percent dispens that al allowance that they have given, easing of that. But why not go for multi-brand retail? I mean, that's where the big multiplier is. So you've done single brand, you'll help them. Now take the next step. And I, the, 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 the previous government did that. You just need to yeah. implement that. Okay. So I would say that's one area. Hmm. The second area, I think, is ultimately that we, the representative from the BJP talked about Make in India. It should not be called Make in India. Make in India has not been successful. It should be called Make in India for the world. Okay. That's, that's how you become competitive. The future of India should, does, does not only depend on the domestic market. No country has ever depended on the domestic market, not even China. Okay. So let us, let us become competitive. Okay. And all the reforms, etc., these, all these actions are good because mm. they are going to help make us competitive. So all let's right. not forget that really the crucial game is exports. Absolutely. The point that uh, was made here by my studio guests as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Bhanu Murthy, uh, Vivek Reddy, Jagdish Khattar, Gurcharan Das and Pooja Mehra for joining us on this broadcast. Stopping for a short break, be right back.